Okay, so we're meeting with Sebastian. Hold on. I went to the wrong flu. This place is so big it's hard to navigate. Wait. Right, there he is. Over here. Seb. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you oh. took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. All right. This way. Lead the way, boss man. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. It's right here. Undercroft. The way to open. I'm guessing this would be on the Marauder's map. Did How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Oh. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play Govstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never Rebellion. Heard. Oh shit. Gear slots are full. God dang it. Anything else around? this guardians I know ominous met him in our common room I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle he does no idea how though ominous was born blind and no spell could reverse it his wand seems almost sentient not surprising I suppose Ollivander always says the wand chooses the wizard is that how he found this place no someone in his family knew about it the Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway. The Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Oh. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Oh, really? A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, 
Not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Sounds good. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confrengo. Very well. Here we go. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Yeah. Stick to the top. Best to keep the un tact. What's this one again? Oh, transfiguration. Uh, where's the new spell? Okay. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it! Okay. I think I've got it. Well done. It's nice. I have to say... I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Bit of a fire bug, eh? This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Mm -hmm. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Who am I going to When tell? I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Okay. God, it's so slow with the exit. Right outside. Hello, Sebastian. Oh, shit. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. 
Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. God, My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Hey, bro. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Look. Shadow of the Otara left. Next on the agenda. Go get a broom. Go get a broom. Uh, where's the nearest flu? In the broom. Respond. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I would like to teach you Wingardium <coughs> Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Derelict. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Yes, for sure. I'll be there. Ah, oh, new face. Oh, Wonderful. shit. I need to go sell some stuff. Where is that place? You sell stuff. Oh, the vendors know. What about the butterflies? What's that? This place? Scrolls and stuff. Pooping. I question I'll sell some stuff. Look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. Sell. Sell out crap stuff. Yes. It's not what I'm. Sell. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Same as. Ten defense. What's. Yeah. Yeah, it. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Thanks for the tea. See ya. Oh, let me equip that stuff real quick. Gear. Do 
have the best gloves on. Face wear. Oh, I should have stolen the glasses. Again, this is really good. Been able to do this correctly. Oh no, I want a rope. The uniform looks weird, but I have a rope. Oh, what is it? Ooh, that one looks good though. The snake. Stick. Rustic ah, sleeper. new face! Wonderful! Alby. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Alby Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare U weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the you ones darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Ooh, how much? Oh, oh, 600. Fire temperament. This a look. That item is of the highest quality. Hmm. Okay. That item is of the highest quality. She's receiving a saddle now. Wished. This one is sick. Give us that one. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Hey, you can sell this guy stuff too. 
Nice doing business with you. Which some of me money back. Okay. Redonzo. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. Nitrous. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved. I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? What say? Sounds good. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did. But my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Uh, free, no? Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten here. Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Okay. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. What's up here? Anyone casting unforgivable sins is just a step into anger. And I dare anyone to ask. Hogs me to here I come. I'm not hurry to get upstairs, but it was gonna. Okay, I'll do that one, I guess. Speak with Perry Pippin. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? 
Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. She make her own. How far away is this? It's pretty far. Can test that there's no broom, I guess. Once we get our hog sweet. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? <gasps> oh. Check out the new whip. This is still pretty slow, isn't it? Still really slow. Quicker than walking, that's for sure. Hold on. Do we have a flu? Flew there. Yes. Let's go there first. Quicker. Save us a few hundred, maybe. It's like a place right out of a storybook. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts. I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Hmm, save us about 500. Steps or meters, whatever that is. Probably meters. And a faster broom would be better, wouldn't it? Nearly there now. Jesus. So far away. The quicker we find these flu pints, the better. I didn't know there was so much stuff outside of Hogwarts. I never said that about it in the books. Pippin should have been here remember. by now. Do I remember? Hello? Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have you brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Jesus. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. 
You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Whoa. Drink it. Shh. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Invisibility. It seems to have so got an extra one. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Yeah. Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. Yeah, see what, what do you have for sale? See what, what she got. What are we looking for today? Ashwinder eggs, I think we need them. A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. Leech juice, I think we have some of that. This is... Mm. Put our own lace we'll take A fine this. choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. Same here. Right. This will do just fine. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Cheers. Let's get the flu. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've no... Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Merlin's beard. Uh, what are we doing again? Good for you. Is that not the one we sent for now? Oh. Rebellion. Oh, you forgot what we have to do with this one again. Yeah, I thought oh. we just. Do it because I'm on a quest right now. Who knows? Yes, I don't. Quick travel stuff is handy. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yeah, you said that before. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? I delivered the potions to Fatima Lawang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? 
Mm. Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. Where's my money? Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. 